let's start by programming the line feed because it's going to create some some cool things. All right, so it's going to be interesting. All right, so let's start with the uh, the line feed. All right, um, to do a line feed, what we're going to do is we're going to take this x line right here, this x set x two line, and we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to switch all the variables to Y variables. So I just want to go Y. All right, we're going to switch all of these to Y. And then the block width, we're going to switch to block height. And then the global spacer stays the same. Okay, so this is going to accomplish a line feed, but there's a problem with it. Does anybody know what the problem will be? No. Let's, let's look and see. Let's look and see. We'll just hit the reset button here and boom. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's interesting, right? What happened? Yep, they went down. Okay, so what does this indicate? How many times were we supposed to line feed? We go back to the drawing. How many times are we supposed to line feed? One time, right? We're supposed to line feed one time after the tenth element is when we want to line feed. Okay? So if we look at our code though, how many times did we line feed? Every time. Does that make sense? We did a line feed every time. So we actually did a line feed 20 times. And also, I'm reminded that I wanted to increase the width of my blocks. Since we're going to go 10 instead of 20 across the screen, we need to change the, divis the divisor of the width by 10, which also actually creates a really cool kind of level looking thing there like that, which is kind of fun. Here, they're all lined up like this because the 11th through the 20th one are all printed outside, and so they're snapped back onto the canvas. Um, but that's kind of a cool level effect, though, right? If you're, if you're making a nifty level and you want, you know, boom, that's kind of cool. All right, so what we need to do is we need to count. I need to know when I've done 10 blocks, and we have no way of doing that with a for each statement. That's the limitation of the for each statement. If we used a for counter, like, so if we had used, if we had used this one, ah, come on now. Oh my gosh. If we'd use this for each number one,